Hello guys and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I want to be starting a new little series um, all about the equipment and why it is important that we pick the correct equipment, the correct size and all that kind of stuff. But today we are going to be talking about the handle. The handle obviously connects you to the boat. It is one of the most important bits of equipment that you can have. And if you have the correct size, width, length, diameter, and you obviously have a good quality handle, it is so much easier to relax your arms, relax your grip, and just generally have a better technique, a better pull behind the boat. Okay, so where do we start with the handle? In my opinion, the most important thing about the handle is the diameter, okay? And that is obviously how thick the bar is, so how big essentially the bar is when you're having to grip it. This is, a, um, this is super important for many reasons. Obviously, if you have tiny hands, you're gonna need a smaller bar. If you have bigger hands, you're gonna need a bigger bar. But there's also something that a lot of people miss out on the fact is that if you have a really thin bar with normal sized hands, as you grip into here, as it's thin, there's not much surface area to grip on. So what you'll find is you'll start pulling and that is gonna cause calluses and most importantly, gonna cause big rips in your hands. So this is a big thing. If you struggle with ripped hands consistently, maybe look at your size handle. So I use a 1.062. And that is a normal, that's the regular sized handle, maybe on the bigger end, okay? But I know a lot of people that use the 0.888, which I know doesn't seem like a big difference, but that is a tiny handle and you will find, unless you're wearing clinches and unless you have really, really small hands, you will start to get blisters or sore hands. It may feel kind of nice, that it's easy to get your hands round the bar because it's so small. But again, that surface area is so tiny. So one, you've not got as much connection with your gloves, so it's gonna slip easier. And again, those calluses are gonna really cause you to sting. One thing I wanna add to the diameter as well is that when your diameter is too small for your hands, this can often cause tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. One's that side, one's the other side cause pain in your elbow, okay? And that if you're over gripping that handle or if that, again, that surface area is small so it's causing you to really have to be strong with that handle, make sure that if you're getting tennis elbow, you try a thicker handle, it will make a big difference. You should be able to relax that grip. It's gonna feel weird. It will feel weird for a few sets, but go for that thicker diameter. You will thank yourself after a week when you've got used to it. The other thing that I wanna look at as well is the width of the bar, so how wide it is. These usually come in two settings for slalom. You have the 12 inch handle, so this one is what I use, it is a 12 inch width, or a 13 inch. So again, we're only talking an inch, but that makes a big, big difference. So what some people say is a wider handle lets you have more space to get your hips through your arms, essentially, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. So if you really struggle to let those hips get through and create space with those arms, maybe a 13 inch handle would be for you. Again, if you have massive hands or you're generally just a bigger person, then maybe that 13 inch handle is what you prefer. I prefer the 12 inch handle because I feel like it, um, my, hands are, my hands are closer, obviously, and I feel like everything's tighter. I feel like I'm, um, I'm together in a way. So that when I want to get my hips through, I don't feel like I, there's a massive gap. I feel like I'm together, I'm strong, and I'm connected to that handle much, much easier. So the final thing that I want to look at is, other than having pretty colors that you like, is making sure that our handle is the correct length. I'm not talking about making sure it's on that far, far tolerance. I'm talking about making sure that if you want to enter a rankings tournament, um, you have to measure your handle after you ski. So making sure that that is not too long or too short is very, very important because you will get disqualified if the tournament is following the rules correctly. Obviously the tolerance is quite large, but make sure that you check the rules. And again, if you're at a tournament site, which I assume you will be because you're doing a tournament, 90% of them should have a rope measuring system or a handle measuring system fairly easily accessible because they'll have to use it in the tournament. So make sure that your rope is in that tolerance. Again, doesn't need to be at the massively far end and obviously doesn't really want to be at the short end because that's quite a big difference, almost a boy's width. Um, but making sure that your handle is in that tolerance so that you don't go to your tournament, you don't get that PB and you do not get disqualified from that round. It nearly happened to me at Hilltop and it was a very nerve wracking 10 minutes. So now I always have that handle a little bit shorter. So check your lengths and make sure that you are within the rules. One last thing that I forgot to mention that I realized when I was editing is that the bars do wear down. The rubber in here does wear down to the metal bar underneath. And obviously as that rubber wears down, 
we essentially make that diameter smaller and smaller and smaller until it can cause a problem. So if you are getting those problems with your elbows or you're getting a ton of blisters and can't figure out why, make sure that your handle isn't too worn. And if you see metal, it is time for a new one. No discussions. Metal is very slippery, obviously very thin. It is time to get yourself a new handle, okay? So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoy these videos and I'm gonna be doing a lot more and maybe hopefully inviting some guests on that have a little bit more experience than me in some other areas like the double boots and the things that I obviously don't have that experience with. So hopefully in the future, um, we can do a few more videos like that and I look forward to getting those to you. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or the like button um, or leave a comment if you have any future video ideas or any questions that you would like to ask. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.